What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. In today's video, we're going to have a how-to video on how to change your tie rod ends on your Fox Body Mustang. This will be inner and outer tie rod ends. It's a really simple process, but we're going to go through it and, you know, some of these old cars, it takes a little bit more effort to get this stuff off of, but let's get right into it. First things first is you want to jack up the car so you have access to the front wheel and then take the front wheel off. Okay, so now that we got the wheel off, what we want to do is hit everything with penetrating oil. This is going to help us just break everything loose and just make our lives a little bit easier. So I always use PP Blaster, it just seems to work better. And so let's spray a liberal amount on everything. So then next, we want to take the cotter pin out of the top of the tie rod in and break it loose. So. Now we have our 19 millimeter socket and we're gonna pop this thing off. Hopefully it comes off easy, it should. There we go. And, okay, not that easy though. I'm just a little optimistic. We're gonna unscrew this thing, not all the way off, but almost to the top. Let's see, just like that. Then we want a hammer and what we're trying to do is break this loose. So we're gonna tap this side of the knuckle until it falls through. Let's see, first try. Just like that. Pop. So now it's loose. And you know, if it doesn't come loose first try, use this guy and just heat it up and it will get loose eventually. So, <laughs> now that we got this loose, we're gonna wanna loosen up this nut in the back and that'll make our lives a lot easier doing it on this instead of off the car. So, let's get the appropriate wrench and loosen this guy up. And so, this is gonna be a 7 8 wrench and what you're gonna do is just loosen it up. So I always gotta think about it when it's opposite. So if I have the wrench, all right, so we're gonna push down on it since we're doing the driver's side. Oh, smack myself in the jaw. But then, this is loose. All right, so now that that's loose, we can take it off. So if you're just replacing the outer tie rod in, at this point, you would take the castle nut off and spin the outer tie rod off of the inner tie rod and then count how many turns it takes to take off and then put the new one on and count how many turns it goes back on. Since we're replacing the inner and the outer tie rod in, we're not going to be taking the outer tie rod in off at this moment. What we're going to be doing is loosening the inner tie rod, taking off the dust boot and taking off the vent tube. So now we're underneath the car and the first thing we got to do is take this little clamp off of the dust boot. And it's really easy to do just with a set of needle nose pliers. You can just pull this thing right off. So now there's a clamp on the rack side of this dust boot and you need an eight millimeter socket and it's nice to have like the um, deep socket so you can get in there and have a little bit extra room to pull it off. And so let's get this thing off now. And so now we're just going to pull this boot off of the rack, which is pretty simple. And then what we want to do is pull the vent tube off and all it is is pulling the vent tube out of the other boot on the other side and it's pretty straightforward, but we're going to take that off and uh, clean it up later. So now we have access to the inner tie rod. And so what we have to do is get a crescent wrench to pull this thing off, but there's a safety pin in there. And so when we loosen it up, there, the safety pin is just going to shear off and then we can loosen it up all the way, but it's kind of hard at first to get it off. All right, so let's pop this guy off. Oh. Well, got it off. All right, now that everything's disconnected, all we gotta do is take this castle nut off and pull the old, whatever this is called, off. <laughs> so now that we got the tie rod in off, 
I want to count the turns of how many turns it takes to take this off the tie rod the outer tie rod from the inner tie rod if I didn't say that clear enough which it didn't sound like so 7 8 inch wrench and let's break it loose oh it's already loose okay so now since it's loose all we got to do is spin this thing off and count how many turns it takes to spin it off one <laughs> two Seven, 48, 49, 49. So 49 turns. My other side was 47, so this one's 49, and look how disgusting my hand is. All right, so 49. All right, so now that we're here with the outer end off, we want to take the nut, jam nut off so we can pull the boot off. Okay, so now that we got the jam nut off, what we can do is pull our boot off. And so now we're just left with the inner tie rod and look how bad mine was. It just So that one was bad. <laughs> but our dust boot is just ridiculously dirty. So we're going to wash this up before we put it back in the car and then we'll get our new inner tie rod in and do it. So let's clean this thing up with some hot soapy water and then go for it. So we got our boot cleaned. It's nice and pretty and clean. We also cleaned up our vent tube and this is nice and pretty and clean as well. So Next thing we gotta do is, here is our brand new Moog tie rod. So the holes for the safety pin to go into, they all need to be deburred, just so this little pin can fit into it. So right now, these pins will not fit. I mean, I'll try it right now. And I can't fit that thing in. So, so what we gotta do is take our drill and deburr these things. So let's do that real quick. So we're just gonna take it, drill through the hole and deburr it. Alright, and now it fits perfect with just a little bit of resistance. We're going to do that on all of them. So now that these are all deburred and I can fit the safety pin on there in each of them. That was a little tight. There we go. Alright, so now it's time to put our boot on. We are going to slip our boot over, our nice clean boot, and then slip our clamp on. And so that completes that. <laughs> it's pretty easy. So now we're just gonna thread the new nut, the jam nut on here. All right, so now that the jam nut is all the way on, we're gonna go put it on the car. Okay, so now we can thread our inner tie rod in. Oh man. And so then you'll tighten your tie rod in all the way till it won't tighten anymore, it just stops. And then it's time to put your safety pin in. Okay, so now that we got this thing all the way on, and don't forget to put the clamp on it, because that just makes life hard. And don't ask me how I know that. So, now that we got our safety pin, we're going to stick our safety pin into the best hole, which is right here. And then we're going to get our hammer and tap it in and we are as tight as we can possibly get we are maxed out so see it won't tighten anymore and now let's tap it in tap that in till it's flush safety pin is in this thing isn't going anywhere so now we can put our boot back on and we can put our vent tube back in which I forgot to grab and so now we can put our vent tube back on just like that and then we can tighten up our boot make sure your boot is all the way on tighten it down with your eight millimeter socket all right so now let's move to the outer tie rod all right so now that we got the inner tie rod in what we want to do is get or put a liberal amount of uh, any C's on here and I got brown any C's that's weird and it's all gonna push out probably now we got our outer tie rod we got another Moog product and remember how many we spun our tie rod off with 49 spins so we're gonna spin this one on with 49 spins but 
before we get started, there's the little grease fitting that need, needs to go in here. All of these new uh, tie rod ends come pre-greased, but at the end, if you want, you can grease these up with your grease gun. And I think they use marine grease, the Lucas Oil marine grease. You can tell because it's nice and blue in there, and that's what they recommend on their website. But we're going to put the grease fitting in, and then we're going to put our 49 spins in. And I got to get a little wrench, but it just threads right in. You need a 9 30 seconds and you just tighten it up. All right, so now we've got our grease fitting in. We're gonna spin this on 49 times. So one, seven, three, eight, 49. And so now you could put your dust boot clip back on. Make sure it's in a good spot. So now we can actually put the tie rod into the spindle again. And this might take a little bit of effort. Oh. There we go. All right, and so now we can put our castle nut on, our new one from Moog. And I'm not gonna tighten it down all the way yet. What I'm gonna do, get it on part way. And then we are going to tighten down the jam nut to the tie rod end. So we got our 7 8 wrench, we got a crescent wrench, and so what we can do is stick our crescent wrench on here and then tighten this jam nut up. All right. Make sure you get that thing tight. We're gonna tighten up our castle nut. So we're gonna tighten our castle nut up and we're gonna tighten it to a spot we can actually stick our cotter pin through. So let's tighten this thing up. All right, so now we got to see if we're in line with any of the cotter pins, and so we're almost there. Just tighten it up a little bit more. All right, so now that we got enough room, we can stick our cotter pin in. And just stick it in, and then twist the sides up. If I can reach the end, holy crap. All right, now we got our cotter pin in. Mine looks kind of stupid, but our tie rod is installed, and like I said earlier, you can put more grease in here, and you probably till the boot swells a little bit, but after that, your tie rod, inner and outer tie rods are now installed and you can take this thing to the alignment shop, get it aligned, and enjoy your new tie rods with a smooth ride. I know I am. So thank you for tuning into this video. If you found this helpful or if you just like Fox Body Mustang stuff, please leave a like and subscribe because we're building a really fast turbocharged Fox Body and that's what the whole channel is about. So thanks for watching again and I'll catch you guys on the next one.